it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and this is 15 of my favorite vintage items that I sold in June. In June I had about 75 orders so it was kind of hard to trickle this down just to 15 but these are the 15 that I like because they're either really interesting or they sold for a good amount. So we're going to jump right on in and the first thing is actually these vintage towels and I love buying towels. The thing about them is that you have to make sure that they have no stains or rips or tears and that can really be a huge determining factor on what you can expect to make on them but I had one customer in particular who bought nine pairs of towels each pair sold for about ten dollars and um, so with each listing I had this listing here had four towels there was another that had I think three towels and then another that had two or in some configuration and they each already had the shipping bundled into the price so he bought more than one listing so I actually made a little bit more money on the shipping so the shipping came to $21 and then he paid a total of 122 so that was amazing and just goes to show you can make good money on vintage towels next thing up is this vintage music figurine it's Irish and it sold for $40 it's a really cute little music box I think I paid either a dollar or two at Goodwill so it was $40 and then seven dollars and 68 cents on shipping and it does have say Japan right there 1971 small chip even right there on the front of her little bonnet so that was awesome next thing up is actually something that I sold previously I had two of these the first one I sold for $18 and that included shipping and I thought at the time that I maybe should have put a higher price on it and just waited so I had one more to go and I went ahead and raised the price on that second one to $34 with shipping included so that's basically double and so I just sold this one here and it sold for $34 with shipping of $2.66 that I paid. So that was pretty cool. And I should have known better because Vintage Halloween does really well. It's dated and everything. It says 1965. So yes, I made it up on the second one, but if I only would have just taken a couple more seconds to do a little research before I posted the first one, I could have done even a little bit better, but that's okay. Um, I made a really good return on these vintage Halloween pieces. I think I paid $4 for them and that even included a vintage light bright and I still have the light bright listed. I've sold three light brights in the past and they run about $50 when they do sell. So good money with those things. Next up is this General Electric flip clock. Flip clocks I love buying, I love selling them. The only issue is in the moment you can't always tell if they work especially if it's an auction a country auction where you can't plug it in ahead of time but this one does work the numbers flip and it sold for forty dollars with eight dollars and fifteen cents that I paid so very cool flip clock General Electric with a lighted dial it does light up a little bit when you plug her in and I usually do like to take a photo of it plugged in and working um, but I didn't in this case still sold very well Next up is another great surprise, Betty Crocker's Picture Cookbook Revised and Enlarged. This sold for $40 with $3.68 shipping. Uh, that would have went media mail. So this book I probably picked up for a dollar in a large group of books, or I might have even got it for free, depending on the auction. I can't remember. Let's just say I paid a dollar so very good investment for that I didn't know at the time that it was worth that I know certain Betty Crockers are worth more and some and some are worth you know back practically nothing so very awesome I think uh, I took a couple photos different angles there's the spine it's not in perfect shape either um, 1956 has some stains present like I said the spine the cover not that perfect at all you can see there's some separation and the back you can see it again I was surprised I um, did a little research 
found some others that sold similar to this and priced it right along with them and it sold. So that is an awesome example <laughs> of something that I had no clue would sell that well. Next up is this amazing light. And I, I have this on here because I just love this. It is a turquoise blue. It screams 1960s. It's just perfect. And it sold for $34. I could have probably listed it higher because I just got this a couple weeks ago, I feel like, and listed it and it sold. So I probably should have listed it for between 40 and 44 with shipping included, but I didn't. That's okay. It sold for $34. The shipping was $10.29. So it effectively sold for about $25. That's pretty good. Next up is this Eagles cap. It's a Philadelphia Eagles cap and I sold a few, a few others of these, not this particular one with the Tasmanian Devil on it. But this is one of my favorites because it actually does have the Tans Tasmanian Devil on it. So it has that Looney Tunes tie-in and it's just all in all a pretty interesting cap. This cap here sold for $24 and I paid 25 cents for it at a yard sale. And then it, uh, the shipping on that was $3.18, which I always send caps like this in boxes. I could save a little bit more money if I wanted to put this in a poly bag, but then it's going to get squished um, and it's just not a great way to ship a hat. So I spent 40 cents for a box and ship it first class and it does just fine. Really cool cap. Next up is this piano box and it plays We've Only Just Begun. I recently just found another one of these except it's not the same thing. I thought it was. Uh, this one is just strictly a music box and it sold for $24 with $4.66 shipping on it. And the one I just bought is a music box but it also is a jewelry box. So I couldn't just update my quantity it's not even the same music box. It's very similar though. But um, awesome that this one sold for about $24 uh, with shipping. Then I made about $19. So very cool. I don't remember what I paid for it either. Probably less than a dollar. Next up, really awesome vintage convex glass picture frames. I believe I paid under $3 for all of these. Pretty safe to say. I think they were probably 50 cents a piece, if I can remember from a yard sale or an estate sale. And they sold for 40, no, they sold for $50. They sold for $50 for the set of three, and that includes $8.47 shipping that I paid out of that. So they are awesome. Two of them match, made in Italy. Two of them match, these two do, and then there's the set separate one here, but bundled all, bundled all together, they look really great in a grouping. Um, they have some real similar characteristics to each other. Very, very cool. Next thing up is this scale. Now this is something that I really didn't make a lot of money on, but I just love it. It's something that reminds me growing up at my grand, grandparents, they had a scale like this similar. It was a little bit not as flashy with the blue, it was more black and white. And I have one of those available too, a black and white scale like this with this VCT tile top to it. But this one, oh, I just think it's so cool. So retro looking. It sold for $45. And then of course it's a scale, it's heavy. The shipping on that was $18.47. So that's still over $25 selling price whenever you consider the shipping out of it. But it's not as, it wasn't as great of a seller as I figured it would be. I think I paid two or three dollars for this at a flea market event type thing and um, thought it would do a little bit better but I can't blame it because the shipping is pretty high. So love the scale, has great character. I think it's just awesome. Next up is this Franciscan Ivy Crescent Plate. Traditionally these were used for you know what, I'm not even gonna try to say it. These originally had a different use than what they are used in this modern 50s, 60s setting. They were dubbed as salad plates recently, but they were in the past used as something else. I'll have to refer back to a comment that someone else made, a subscriber, on what the original intended use for these plates were. But 
they were used in this set as salad plates, crescent salad plates. And this plate right here sold in conjunction with a salt and pepper shaker set matching to this. I don't have that photo available, but the pair sold uh, $28 for this and $24 for the salt and pepper shaker. So combined about $53. And then our, I was able to ship them together for $7.40. So that is very, very cool. Um, so yeah, about $28 for this little crescent plate like this. Franciscan Ivy is one of my favorite patterns. It was used in Isle of Lucy. I put that in the description there. And I have many variants of this pattern available and I'm always looking for more of it just as a, just something that I can't stop buying. So very cool. Next up, this is a huge, oh, a really good deal here. I sold a set of flatware, Interpure Danish Modern. Originally, I thought that this was rosewood handles, but a subscriber quickly mentioned that they are not rosewood, even though that I found others online describing them as such. So I did a little digging and that is correct. They are not rosewood. In fact, I had one that was in pretty rough shape, so I snapped it in half and it's plastic. So it's well, it's like a plastic composite material. So Interpure Stainless Steel Japan, and there's 30 pieces here. It sold for the wacky total of $105, and the shipping on that was $7.10. $105, very, very good for flatware. But it has really great modern lines to it, and it's a pretty complete set. Most all the pieces are there that you would want to have for daily use. Next up, one of my favorite things I found so far this year, and it's so simple. It's these little St. Patrick's Day figurines. I think I paid a dollar or two for these at an auction. Spectacular price because they sold for $58 and the shipping was $4.94. St. Patrick's Day stuff does pretty well, just like I showed it with that Irish girl. She sold really quickly, so did this, and I don't really see a lot of stuff like this so that is why it goes for so much it's uh tricky to find so these are just cute and they're in amazing shape with no chips no issues whatsoever that completely adds to the valuation that i was able to receive on these so very very cool next up i've had these for a while but they are so so neat it is of mark's little hostess 1970s play set and they are just so cool. Um, had this great apple green color to them. I don't even know where I got them. I forgot. Could be an auction. I might have paid between five and eight dollars for them. I would think that's what something I would do. I went to go wrap them up to ship them, and I found in these two drawers. I never cared to open them. I guess there was tiny, tiny, tiny silverware in there. The ones that I guess came with it. I never knew that they were there. I never shook it to realize there was anything else in the drawers, but there were, and there was quite a lot of it. So the buyer got a surprise on that. And anyway, this sold here for $42. And then I paid $12 and 16 cents out of that for shipping. So basically it sold for $30 or so uh, net. And the last thing that sold, well, the last, Favorite thing in this video that sold is this light fixture. It is a 1960 style that mounts above a sink or a mirror or something like that. And it has a little plug in it. It's rectangular. This photo, these photos are not flattering to this kind of thing. I should have used black as a backdrop, but either way, it sold pretty quickly within two weeks of listing it, it seems like. And that even included a little scratch that I picture right here. It's right there. And I mentioned it here in the description. It sold for $34. And then the shipping on that was $7.68. And this made the list because it is the first light like this that I've bought and sold. And I think it's pretty cool. And it actually sold for a good amount. So that is the entire list of my favorite things that I've sold in the month of June. I don't know if I'm gonna do this format going forward. I just got so behind on what sold videos that I thought I might as well just abbreviate the whole session and just do 15 that I thought were the greatest. 
But thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought.